Hello friends, this is the video about melatonin inhibition and circadian rhythms. In this video, we will be discussing about how light alters the pineal gland secretion, that is the secretion of melatonin hormone. Then we will be seeing how light affects your sleep and how photosensitive cells in your retina interacts with light. So let's see in detail. Let's get to the fact first. You always close your eyes when you try to sleep or feel sleepy. Or we can say most of the times it's involuntary synchronized action of your eyelids to get closed. It's only and only to cut out the light hitting the retina while photosensitive retinal cells are getting excited by light waves. So this is the first mechanism of our nervous system to cut out the external cues affecting the circadian rhythms. Now let's see the pathway and interaction of light with the cells of retina. During the daytime or under artificial light conditions, the light strikes our eyes and goes through pupil of an eye towards retina. And it's this retina which has got three different types of photosensitive cells. With rod cells, we have also cone cells and finally we have intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells. These photosensitive cells are able to phototransduce and do their specific functions. Rod cells give us a scotopic vision, that's black and white vision. And this vision is perceived under dim light conditions. On the other hand, we have cone cells which give us a photopic vision, that's colored vision, which is perceived under well lit conditions, like in a daytime. To know more about these scotopic and photopic visions, you can watch the video of them by clicking above. And finally, we have third cell called intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells present on our retina. And these cells doesn't perceive any vision but rather these cells are used for synchronizing our body with light and dark cycles that's during day and night a clock in our body called circadian clock which drives circadian rhythms that's why it has been shown the blind person can also synchronize the actions according to day and night by circadian clock since only rod and cone cells are not working in blind persons the blind persons have photosensitive cells that means the circadian rhythms will be driven in blind persons also. And by the circadian clock, we are able to detect the timing of sleep and wake cycles by the help of secretions from pineal gland. Now let's see the interaction of IPRG cells that intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells with light. We have two scenarios here. One being the presence of light and other being the absence of light. That's light and dark we can say. Under the conditions of presence of light, retinal ganglion cells depolarize, unlike rod and cone cells which repolarize in the presence of light. But here, these cells depolarize. So when these cells depolarize, there is an inhibition of endocrine functions of pineal gland. That is, no melatonin hormone is being secreted when light is received by photosensitive ganglion cells on retina. And on the other hand, when there is no light present, that is dark or we can say at night time, these cells repolarize, which finally induce the secretion of melatonin from pineal gland. So it's this hormone called melatonin, which is being processed in circadian rhythms in our brain called SCN suprachiasmatic nucleus, which we have already discussed in the previous video. And you can click the link above of that video. The melatonin hormone, which drives circadian rhythm, initiates and kicks up an alerting system that we call as circadian alerting system which continuously drives these rhythms in suprachiasmatic nucleus in its dark cycle. It has been shown that when alerting system gets activated, that circadian alerting system gets activated, there is marginal decrease in the activity of cerebral cortex of brain, which is responsible for thinking, learning and wakefulness and other attention seeking activities. So it's under the conditions when light is not present, that's during night time or during a dark cycle. But once there is presence of light, melatonin secretion will be inhibited. Circadian alerting system will be deactivated. All circadian rhythms will cease to exist. The cerebral cortex will be more active thereby increasing wakefulness. And finally, we will not feel sleepy and there will be no sleep. And it must be noted that it is the blue light present in spectrum which works well to depolarize the photosensitive ganglion cells. The wavelength of 450 up to 490 nanometers initiates the phototransduction pathway. Other wavelengths does not pose any threat to circadian rhythms 
that's why you found a blue light filter in your smartphone so that it does not disturb your sleep because melatonin secretion is being inhibited once the cells receive blue light so this is all about a sleeping hormone synchronizing your body with day and night via circadian rhythms i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks